Welcome back to Chat with Chet. Today, I, I get to do what I love to do, and that's sit down with a smart person. And today, I've got Nadia Malik with me, pre-sales engineer extraordinaire, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about computer vision today. So yeah, with computer yeah, vision, yeah. Uh, the fragility in the bots that I built in the old days, every time any of the screens changed, it broke my bot and I had to go in to fix it. Now, those were small changes, but how is computer vision going to address that? Yeah, so with computer vision, actually now it identifies an anchor. So if things on the page were to change, your automation is less likely to break because it is not using an image-based automation. So today, if a field changes on a system that we're working with, my bot continues to work because it's got an anchor point and we pull the data to the right or to the left. I'm exactly. Assuming, that yeah, and you could actually even use that same logic on an application and a PDF. So if, say you're pulling an invoice number, you could use an anchor and it actually it identifies that you're pulling an invoice number and it's related to, say, the word invoice. Great. So it will work. It works in PDF. It'll work in email. Where else can this be applied? Legacy systems and virtual environments. So if you were to say this is going to be the best use case for computer vision, give us what that use case would be. I'd say when you're trying to automate a system that's uh, where you, it may reside inside a virtual environment and you don't have access to the underlying code of that system. So we don't have access to what we call selectors. So you'd want to right. use computer vision. So will this help me in change control? Do I have to be as nervous when the IT folks say that they're making an upstream change? Make sure that your bot's not going to break. How's computer vision going to apply there? It'll make it less likely for you to have to make those, ma those changes. Those changes. So now IT can go about with what they're doing and we don't have to worry about uh, these bots going offline. Yeah. So and and right. it's easy enough to use. It's still drag and drop. So business users are actually able to build these automations and apply the same logic. So I hear that computer vision is going to help us be the pathway to AI. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, so here now we're seeing the need for uh, RPA and I to get AI together is actually what is what we see as automation. So we're combining um, artificial intelligence in ways that we can so that we can um, have uh, automations that are, you know, less They can likely. help make decisions. They can help us move through. They become a bit more intuitive. It becomes intelligent automation. Exactly. And a lot of people now, they're hearing more about RPA and some customers have been um, building automations for a year or two now. So now they're wanting to take it to the next level. So AI computer vision is definitely helping with that. Yeah. So computer vision, when is this going to be available to the general public? Yeah, it's available today. You heard it here on Chat with Chet. Nadia, thanks for your time today and thanks for watching.